Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Hey, if you hear any funny noises outside, it's because the garbage men are just out there running all over the place. And uh, we have three different trucks, one for garbage, one for yard clippings, and one for recycle. So they seem to run about all day. So listen, I wanted to talk to you guys today about Jerusalem. You know, have you ever wondered why Hamas attacks Jerusalem? And I mean horrendous war crimes they committed the minute they came in. They were shooting women and children in the back as they fled. I mean, they were, they were raping women, taking hostages, just the most brutal things you could possibly do. Well, all of a sudden, within a few days, Israel turns out to be the bad guys. I mean, there's demonstrations all over the world in every city in America where people are demonstrating death to Israel, death to Israel. And Israel didn't do anything but defend themselves. So listen, Psalms 122.6, God says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Look at that statement. That's an absolute promise from God. They shall prosper that love thee. And I think that's the problem. <laughs> Israel, the Jews, are God's chosen people. That's God's chosen land. And God placed the Jews there. And all the nations of the world are all satanically controlled. Most of the people are. And that's why they hate Israel. You know, the United States, we have been Israel's protector uh, ever since it became a nation. We were the first nation to recognize Israel as a nation in 1948, and we have had Israel's back the entire time. We supply them with money, weapons, intel. I mean, we literally, we, we've been Israel's protector. And because of that, God has blessed America immensely. You know, I was getting worried when Obama was president because Obama, he was a Muslim and he turned his back on Israel. And then Trump came along. He even moved the, uh, the embassy to Jerusalem and Trump backed Israel 100%. And Biden now, he's also wishy-washy, even though on camera he says he supports Israel, he really doesn't. But the United States has been blessed because we bless Israel. The opposite of that is also true. If he'll bless them that bless Israel, then God will curse them that curse Israel. People, the entire Islamic world is under a curse because they hate Israel. They curse Israel. Islam itself is a curse on all the Arab people. Islam is a total religion of death. It is a religion of death. Look how they fight. They put all their command centers inside schools and inside hospitals. They have no problem strapping a bomb to some little kid and sending it in, into a crowd. They fight like cowards. They're cursed. I saw a young man being interviewed. He had one hand missing. And the reporter kept looking at it. He said, how'd you lose your hand? He said, I found a cell phone. And when they caught me with it, I couldn't prove that I didn't buy it. So they cut my hand off. People, that's Islam. That is the face of Islam. When I lived in Saudi Arabia, I lived there for six months. You could go right down to the town center in Taif and every Friday night you could watch them whack off hands, uh, kill people, cut their heads off. Guys would bring some girl up there that supposedly shamed their family and they'd kill her. It is a religion of death. Islam is a curse on the Arab people because they hate Israel. God told Abraham in Genesis 12, 3, it says, I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. People, 
One of the only reasons America is still standing is because we support Israel. If we ever stop supporting Israel, we're toast. Anyhow, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. But just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.